Hi everybody, I'm Allison. And I'm Molly. And I have known Molly for a long time. She is one of my friends and one of my kids' friends too. And she is also a Winkle subscriber. Do you like the Winkle, Molly? Yeah. Yeah? What have been some of your favorite projects so far? Uh, uh, probably making the bunny like on the portrait. Oh, the painting? Molly, yeah. today we're making a Mother's Day card. Isn't that gonna be so fun? Okay, and this isn't just any Mother's Day card. This card is going to light up because it's going to have a circuit in the back. Have you ever made a circuit before? Yeah, so, yeah, we made the, like, the bug. That when we made the circuit bug? Yeah, the, the circuit bug. The, the, the eyes lit up? That yeah. was cool. Okay, so it's gonna be kind of like that, except a little more complicated. Let's see what we have in our project kit, okay? Okay. A card, an envelope, a piece of paper, two flowers, two mounting squares, glue dots, copper tape, a battery, and an LED. That's a lot of stuff we have in our kit today. Yeah. This is gonna be a lot of fun. On top of everything you have in your kit, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a pencil, and some markers. And once you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, Molly, the first thing we're gonna do is open up our card and figure out what kind of, what color of flower you want inside your card. So you should have two different colors and you can see if you would rather have one color versus the other. I'm gonna do yellow. What color are you gonna do? Pink. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna take our pencil and we're gonna poke through that hole. Make sure your pencil's nice and sharp and I don't want you to poke your fingers. So you take your paper up off the table just a little bit and poke a hole. And don't go all the way through, just a little bit. You just need a tiny hole. Uh-huh, very good. And you're going to take your LED and put it through that hole. You don't have to put the light through, just the leads. Okay, a little bit about LEDs. It stands for light emitting diode. So this is a light emitting diode, meaning when you run energy through here, it, this part's going to emit light. Right? So we have two leads. Those are those wire things that poke out from the end. And we have a long lead and a short lead. And you are going to take those leads and bend them outwards like this. And just press them down flat against your card. On the back is where we're gonna make our circuit. We're gonna have two strips of our copper tape going parallel. Do you know what parallel means? Yeah, so they can never touch. They can never touch, that's right. So if you turn your leads this way, Molly, that way, just a little bit. Think of train tracks. A train track always is running parallel. The sides of the track, they never are gonna intersect because <laughs> the train would fall off the tracks. Yeah. You're gonna peel back one of the pieces of copper tape and attach it to your lead and try and make it as parallel with the card as possible and just run it all the way down to the bottom and then you can use your scissors to cut it off make sure it's on your lead nice and secure nice and tight if you feel like it's not nice and tight on there you can trim another piece Maybe if it tore or it's not really secure, you can always put more copper on there, okay? The copper has to touch the leads and it has to touch the battery. That is how we're gonna make a circuit. Good, okay, now let's do the other side. Now remember, these are gonna be parallel. They have to be parallel to make the circuit complete. So, this is tricky though, Molly, because at the very end, ah, look at this. I made a mess of my copper tape. Guess what, that is okay. If this happens to your copper tape, you have extra. I gave you four pieces of copper tape and you only need two. So if you mess up, you can always try again. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so on this piece, you're going to peel it off. I know it's so hard to get your fingernail in there, but you guys, you guys can do it, you're smart. You're going to put it on your card like this, run it parallel, but don't, take it all the way off the back of the paper. You're gonna leave a little bit there. And see that, I left about an inch there and I'm just gonna trim off the paper 
and I'm not trimming off the copper. Do you see that? So we have our piece that's just like that. Is that how yours is? Yep. Awesome. Okay, this is going really good so far. <laughs> okay, now we are going to attach the battery. Now the battery has a negative and a positive side. So we're gonna see right now which side is going to light up our diode. If I put the positive side of my battery here on the short side of my LED and I touch the copper to it, does that light up? No, it does not. So I'm going to flip it over and touch the negative side of my battery to that copper and touch the copper to it. And does that light up? Yes. yes. So that's what we want. We want to make sure whichever side makes it light up, that's the side you need to attach. And so if you do it wrong the first time, just flip it over and do it right the second time, okay? So the mounting squares are next. We're going to peel off a ba the back layer and press it on one side of that copper tape. Peel off another layer and press it on the other side of that copper tape. We're straddling it, okay? So it's on both sides. We're straddling that copper tape. Molly had it a little too close and also hers is on her copper wire. So if that's happening to you, I'm gonna have you just trim a little bit of it so it fits on there. We don't want it on your copper wire and they can't be too close because your battery's gonna go on there and have to press onto that copper tape, okay? Yeah. So you have to make sure that the mounting squares are not on your copper tape and there's enough space to where the battery, you'll be able to press it and it will be able to touch that copper tape. Let's Great. make I'm gonna have you twist your copper tape so that it sticks onto your battery. So it sticks onto your card, then kind of twists, swivels over here and sticks onto your battery. Do you do it? You gotta take your paper off for it. Okay. If you get all confused, remember you have extra copper tape. Oh, I think mine's lighting up. And you can always put more copper on it to really secure it into place. Yeah. Give it a try. When you press it, it goes on. Awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, now. We wanna cover up all this circuitry that we have back here. It's beautiful circuitry that we made today, <laughs> but we wanna cover it up because it doesn't look very professional, does it? Okay, so we are going to take that extra piece of paper that you have, and you're going to cover the back of your card with it. So we have the glue dots. If you're not comfortable with glue dots, you can use a glue stick or white glue if you have that at home. But we're gonna use the glue dots to put four on each corner to cover up the back of our circuit. Never used glue dots before. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Get one out and you're going to peel up the plastic part, that part that you can see through. Okay, so it's right there. We're gonna rub it on the back of our card, press it on really tight, and then slowly peel it off. And we're gonna repeat that on each corner. Good job. Okay, I wanted to show you guys Molly's because she's having a hard time with hers lighting up and I'm just going to secure a little more copper tape. The copper tape is hard to work with and you guys should be so proud of yourself for doing this because this is really cool electronics we're doing today. So see how I covered hers up so it has just a really strong connection right there between all the copper. Okay, let's see if that helped. So that is still hard. So we are going to make sure the connection right here is stronger. Yes, and that's better. So that was the problem. And that's fine. With the Winkle, there's a lot of problem solving and troubleshooting. It's okay if you don't get it perfect on the first try. So we have extra copper tape. And I'm just going to lay an extra piece of copper tape on Molly's. 
and you can do this at home if you're having trouble with yours too. I'm going to put an extra piece of copper tape right here so that that connection is really strong. See that now? That's yeah, going to be really good. Way better. Way better. And then we'll secure it into place again. You can even put the glue dot on the back of that battery. Yes, so much better. Okay, so we're not just gonna give our mom a blank card, are we? No, not <laughs> Here, mom, here's a blank card. Here's a blank card. <laughs> and first, before we start writing the card though, you have to do, you have to figure out the best spot to press that light on, okay? So my the best spot for me is right here. So I'm gonna put a little circle where I want my mom to put her finger. This circle should be as big as a finger tip and you can say press p r e s s okay that way she's gonna be like what do i do press oh it lights up okay so now we get to write a letter to her mom and you get to write anything you want it's your letter and of course you want to say happy mother's day yeah <laughs> That is so cute, I love it. Let's show everybody our card. Ta-da! So cute, so I'm gonna press it. Oh, I love it. Good job, wow. That now, looks really easy. Yeah, yours looks so good. The connection is awesome. So just play with that connection in the back if you're not able to make it work. I've taught you the science of it. That copper tape has to touch the lead on one side. It emits light and then it comes, the energy comes out of it and into the battery. So it's a constant flow, okay? So the energy is going through the copper tape, through the lead, through to the light, back out the other lead, and through the copper tape and back to the battery. And as long as you have that circuit, that constant flow of electrons, your light will light up. And the best thing is that it'll light up for years, probably because it's not on all the time. It just turns on when your mom presses it. Molly, what's one of the favorite things you love about your mom? Uh, she does a bunch of projects with me, like sewing and stuff. I just Aww. learned how to like sew with her, so it was really fun. Aww. And we made dolls. Your mom is so awesome. She's one of the best people that I know, and I love her so much. But I'm sure you love her more than I do, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks everybody for making LED cards with us today. I hope your mom loves it, or whoever you give it to is gonna love it. I know they will. Make sure to put it in the envelope when you're done. Happy Mother's Day! Bye! Bye.